In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, St. Teresa, pray for us. Pope John Paul II, pray for us. A wonderful saint, like I said, he had to work in the salt mines, and they turned the salt mines into this little chapel and thing. It's very interesting. I hope you have your blessed rose petal from St. Michael's World Apostolate because these prophecies are all coming true, and people don't like the prophecies, and they're getting muffled and, and silenced all the more. Read all those prophecies. Talk to Michael Mangan all about it. The Holy Face, we're going to definitely need the Holy Face in these end times. It's very critical now. Like I said, we're at critical mass with what's going to happen uh, with this upcoming election and things. Our country could fall into flat out, full out communism instead of just, you know, a little less communism than it already is. And we're already getting our, feeling the squeeze, getting our rights taken away, right? And that's kind of how it feels. I think everybody kind of feels that way. And, uh, but some people just don't care because they're too busy off making money, like I said, and, and they just don't care. And it says that in scripture, they'll be marrying, buying and selling, giving in marriage. And the flood will come and basically wipe them all away. And we know we're in worse times than Sodom and Gomorrah and Noah combined. But you say, well, I know I'm reading these Sears, but these Sears look a little weird. And I can tell you, I have emailed Sears. I've emailed John Martinez, and I asked him to please on his map, because he had this map of the U.S. after, like, flooding and, and wars and, and uh, acts of God and stuff to change the, the coastlines. He has this map, and I thought, you know, this map is kind of hard to read. Can you please, I emailed him, can you please just put the cities up on the map? And he wouldn't do it. And it's like, there's no charity. Once they're a seer, they just think they're they're the cat's meow or top notch or something. And unfortunately, that happens to a lot of seers. Even uh, even our Lord told Valentina, Sydney seer, you know, you've got pride. And there's a lot of pride. I know there's a lot of pride going on in the clergy that say they don't have pride, especially in post falls. St. George Catholic Church, huge pride problems in the clergy there. And in St. Uh, Joan of Arc Catholic Church, right where I live, the priests, they, they're just so proud. They even strut around, you know. And it's like uh, they ignore the fatherless and the widow. And, and they serve those that want, like I said, their three-car garage and their brand new SUV so they can just bloat in everybody's face in the parking lot at St. Jo Joan of Arc Catholic Church and those are the kind of uh, uh, of fake and baked Catholics that uh, Father Flick and Father Gordon wanted in their church and now they complain about it they say well what's going on these Catholics are coming to, to their these kids are coming to their catechism classes half dressed well yeah when you invite people that only care about money what do you expect happening in your church now idaho is unsustainable financially you can live in you can't can't live and i and work in idaho and sustain yourself and it's kind of sad and the priests they just run away oh no i didn't uh you know silence you and stuff silence father tara and all this stuff they just strut around in their in their nice cars. Always have a full tank of ga gas. Their car is always fixed and, and it's got their tabs or current and all this. I mean, what's happened to our priests? I've never ever in the whole entire time I've lived here seen a priest walking with a rosary or riding the bus. Now that is sad because they're supposed to take vows of poverty. And I know in the FSSP they don't take formal vows of poverty. Well, listen to this priest. You should have poverty. That's just how it works when you're a priest. So if your order doesn't want you to have poverty, there's a huge wake-up call there that maybe you need to make up your own private pledge of poverty. Whatever it takes to get to heaven. You know the rules. You know the law. You know how to be with Jesus. But anyway, I mean, hopefully, right? Because you don't go to seven years of seminary to hear the Potter Noster just reeled off to where I can't even hear the words. And and that's what's happening at that St. Joan of Arc Catholic Church down in Coast Falls. But anyway, and they don't, the, the fact that they don't help the poor, they only serve the rich. That they complain about all the problems the rich people bring in. But anyway, uh... I was going to talk about John Martinez this year because it's kind of discouraging, you know. He talks about how great his marriage is and, and how great, and they kind of blow everything. I'm so great. I get I get visions, and I, 
I have a great marriage now, and, and this has all been predestined, pre-planned for me because I'm so great. All I did was email him and ask him to put some city names on his map. He wouldn't even do it. And uh, he, told, he told everyone he doesn't read other seers' visions. But then he comes months late. He comes weeks or months later, saying that he's been uh, counseling this lady that gets visions all the time, and they even publish some. And I'm like, well, are you a complete liar or no? I mean, what is going on with you, Mr. Martinez? Do I believe the, his visions are true? I do. I do. I just think he needs to go through a purification. And he, I think he said he was a Vietnam vet. Now those things, they have um, generational curses and things from the going to war. And a lot of them is, is well, I'm just great stuff because I served. Or, you know, there's that, that pride and ego thing that comes in on him. And also another thing he said, well, I've, I have a hold a position in the church. Well, good for you, Mr. Martinez. I mean, are you trying to make yourself just so great? I mean, what about people who don't have positions in the church or come from really bad marriages? You know, are you just going to blow them off? And I think these seers, they do have to go through a purification like all of us. You know, I have pride. And, uh, you know, they have to go through a purification. We have to help to humble them so that their prophecies can so that they can do their their mission more fully but also um, we have to kind of help them through their own faults because uh, they, they may come, succumb to some sort of pride where they don't think they they're one of us or they don't think they're just an you know they're a little person that needs God and so we have to try to humble them that the best and maybe God will as well just pray for them that they do get humbled and may God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I mean, like I said, I think uh, John Martinez's prophecies are real. I think he needs to kind of get off his high horse a little bit if he really wants people to listen to him. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.